Hi everybody, thanks for watching. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the actual head on a Ryobi string trimmer. Mine is a battery operated stringer, a 40 volt lithium ion stringer, so I can have it inside without getting gas and oil fumes everywhere. This is the new head. This is the old head. And uh, I had used this to do a lot of sidewalks and I kept nicking the sidewalk and it actually just wore away the plastic over time. So I replaced the whole head. You can get a brand new head for around $30. And I go through one every other season or so. Um, pretty simple to do, but if you haven't done it before yourself, there's a couple tricks that you need to know to make it simple. The biggest thing you can do, well, first, I'm assuming you know how to unlock this. There's really good graphics on here. You can see that this is in the locked position. Hold it, turn it to the unlocked position, then it all pops apart. Well, I did that. I pulled this one off. So now I'm left with what they call the upper housing up here and there's a trick to getting this off you can use either this which is a what do they call this thing a locking pin to look for a little niche here and I'm going to do a close-up there I turned it on its side if you see that little niche right there right there I'm going to move that slightly till you see a hole in there and then you wedge this in there you can also use a small, like a flathead screwdriver and hold that in there. All right, now that the locking pin is holding it in place, you're gonna get in here and just turn this thing clockwise. I loosened it already. It's gonna take a fair amount of force. Keep the locking pin in place. And this just spins off. Now that you have it off, look at the old one and the new one. New, old, the old one has a nut in here, and your Ryobi kit, bump feed trimmer head kit, will come with various nuts in there for different models. And the directions will show you. This is a straight shaft model, so I'm going to take this nut, this black nut, and place it in here, and then I'll thread it on there. Okay, ready to go. Okay, that's on there. Pull out that. And now you just do what you're familiar with. You line up the arrows, press it in, and lock it. Come on, there we go. And you're good to go. So the biggest thing to catch you is you got to use that pin or a small screwdriver to lock that in so you can twist it off. Hope this helps. Now go do your yard. Thanks for watching.